Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, Susana. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Okay, ready? Thursday, finally, last day of the week. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Good evening. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to get started with um, a reading today. And this reading <clears throat> is basically where we are going to use to create, you know, a, a little, uh, let's say, it's Story about our, our ourselves or our lives. Let's see here. The previous he said by the end of this class we will develop a skills in reading for main ideas. So what are we going to do in this reading? Identify the principle, right? The principal ideas in the reading that is the main, the main idea. Uh, about doing something, right? So then we have the reading in this case. Fire. This pay attention to the pronunciation, intonation, new vocabulary. Okay. Uh, phrases also that you can use in your speech, right? Phrases and their sound class you'll develop skills in read information hi everyone in this class you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details we'll do this by reading an article titled weekend stories weekend stories kelly i had a great weekend i went to my best friend helen's wedding she got married at home all her friends and family went she looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her. 
and I really like her husband. Robert, I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at ten this morning. I am so tired. Aaron, I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. All right. So that's the let's say the, the after story. the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents. Okay, the story about these two guys. Everyone had a a different story during the weekend. So this is weekend stories, right? Uh, but if you see, the idea here is to use verbs in past tense, right? You say, I had a great weekend, but it could be, you know, I had a, look at Robert. Robert has a different opinion, and he says, I had an awful weekend, okay? And then uh, for Erin, it's also a different opinion, say, an interesting weekend. So we have great, probably a lot of fun, uh, awful, you know, it's not, it was not very funny, you know, bad experience. And an interesting weekend, you know, probably something, you know, good happened, right? Or probably, you know, that she was going to learn something new. Uh, in the case of Kelly, she says that she went to her best friend, uh, Helen's wedding, and she got married at home. And then she describes a little bit, you know, of what happened. Uh, uh, in that party, right? Also, all her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. Uh, she wore a beautiful dress after the ceremony and that, describing a little bit, right? Robert also describes his bad experience, but if you see, using verbs in past tense. Okay, for example, he has went, had, took, uh, didn't like, uh, ended, the car broke down, called, came, got. So he uses like eight, eight verbs in past tense. Eddie has had, went, uh, took, left, drove, and put. And then they also, he also has uh, cooked, uh, told, got up, uh, went. Now went is already gone. A cut, uh, didn't like, and learned. So she has eleven verbs, right? In that short uh, story about his weekend. So you see, it depends how we want to transmit that information. Okay. Then uh, the next one. I don't know. If... Okay, here. There is no other exercise. The next one I guess is for the uh, uh, section five. Okay, what is, for example, the main idea in Kelly's Kelly's paragraph? What is the main point that she is, you know, like trying to point out? Teacher, excuse me. Uh -huh. Can you repeat? Can yes. you repeat uh, the instruction, please? The question is: What is the main idea? What is the main topic in each paragraph? 
what is the the central idea of each one? What is the most rele relevant idea? The most relevant thing in their weekends? In Kelly is Helen's wedding. Uh huh. Could be, for example, the Helen's wedding. Correct, right? Because you know, if you had a, why did she have a good weekend? Because of Helen's wedding. Okay. And what happened in Helen's wedding? She got married. Her friends went there. She was fantastic. She was beautiful. Okay. So everything is around Helen's wedding. Okay. Okay. That's the correct. Okay. Thank you very much, Estela. Good. What about Robert? Uh, and Robert, teacher, uh, is a it is a awful weekend because uh, her can remember, his car broken broke broke down and when when he was a concert uh, he didn't like the music. Uh, Mm -hmm. Ok, so then. Eh, Teacher, eh, ajá. Tengo una duda, una pregunta. ¿Por qué en la parte donde dice it took three hours to drive there, el verbo drive está como en presente? No, no sé, no, no entiendo por qué está en presente. Ok, no problem, yes. Eh, está en infinitivo, eh, Marilé. Por ejemplo, eso, let me see. Eh, it took three hours. Eh, to drive. Eh, el verbo principal de la oración es took. Ese es el que está como guiando el tiempo y lo que sucedió. Me tomó tres horas manejar hasta allá. Ok, es similar al español, que no diríamos eh, me tomó tres horas eh, manejé, sino que me tomó tres horas manejar. Es la forma infinitiva del verbo. Entonces que dice to drive. O sea, la forma infinitiva es la que nunca cambia. Okay. Usted puede poner, por ejemplo, I want to go. Entonces, usted dice, es, el que guía es el primer verbo. I want to go es presente. Entonces, la misma oración usted la puede hacer en pasado, solo cambiando el primer verbo. I want to go. Quería ir. Ok, entonces el segundo va a ir en to go, que es el infinitivo. Por ejemplo, I want to drive. Quiero manejar. And then, I want to drive. Quería manejar. Entonces ese después del to va a ir en forma infinitiva. Okay. Entonces ahí cuando dice, ok, it took three hours to drive, esa es la explicación. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Then, uh, for example, here, going back to the point is, what is the main idea? The rock concert or the car broke down? The rock concert. A rock concert, right? So he went to a rock concert and then the thing, okay, he went with his friends to a rock concert and then what happened? No, he, the car broke down, he called his father, but not because of that. Usually, usually, the main idea is in the primer paragraph or in the primeras lines, usually, or in the ultimas, de un paro. Okay? Eh, eso siempre los que escriben es ahí donde ponen el. La, la idea principal at the beginning, al inicio, o, en la, o al final, right? For example, look at heading. Where, what is the main idea? The camping. The camping for the first time. Exactly, right? Because uh, it was interesting, what? The camping. Why? Because uh, the friends took her. They left on Saturday, they drove in the campsite, they get on a fogata, but then in a campament, right? First, we put up the pen, we would build a fire. The ahí todo es description of the, of the camping. Okay? Entonces, siempre la idea principal es el, el entorno al que gira todo lo que hablamos, right? Okay? Good. For example, ¿cuál es la idea principal o el tema principal de la clase de hoy? Um, 100 dólares virtuales al fin de día. <laughs> virtuales porque no, no hay otra manera, igual que la Fukuta. ¿no? Uh -huh. 
Scanning, teacher. No, 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 no. De, de, de la clase, de la clase ahorita. ¿Cuál es la idea principal que tenemos ahorita? No de la lectura. Ok, scanning sí es una, una, una técnica en esta. Aquí estamos buscando la mina directa, que es un scanning. Pero, digamos, en la clase, ¿cómo dirían ustedes? ¿Qué fue el tema central de la clase? Identify the main idea in the... Um, ¿Cómo digo? Va, eso es... Identify is perfect. In this is perfect. Pero esa es una actividad de la clase de hoy. Pero más eh, en general. Teacher, describe, describe, uh, uh, describe the, the, the weekend, describe. La hace no era uh, activa. Esa es otra okay. actividad. Ok. Pero, ¿qué es lo que le estamos, qué es lo que yo estoy enfatizando? Verse in past. What? The verse that? in past. Who said that? ¿Quién dijo eso? Ah, uh, Judith. Yes, that's correct. Ok, yes. That's correct, ok. El énfasis está hoy en el, de los verbos en pasado, ok. Pero, eh, pero les decía que, por ejemplo, Kelly usó como un nuevo verbo, Robert like Kate, and Eric like the 14, ok. So we are emphasizing the, eh, the, the past tense. Now, ¿cómo lo estamos haciendo? Ok, con, con todo lo que ustedes dijeron, ok. Reading, scanning, eh, for example, uh, finding the main ideas, ok. So different ways to express. But using in all of them, in all the activities, the past tense. Okay? So this is how you can identify main topics, main ideas. Esto, si ven, es una estrategia que no solo es de lectura. Okay? También es de un speaking. Ustedes van a una charla y les dicen, ¿cuál fue el tema principal? Okay? Entonces eso se llama sintetizar, right? So you go and ustedes pueden sacar las ideas principales de lo que la persona que hablaba estaba diciendo, right? Okay, good. So then, uh, that is, those are the main ideas. That's the vocabulary. Questions about vocabulary? Alguna otra pregunta? Any question about the, I don't know, the verbs, vocabulary, expression? No? Let me see, took three hours, drop down. Now, here we have the camping, the campsite. Okay, put up the tent. This is from the uh, put up the tent. Pusimos, right? Put up the, ah, and the verb put. Remember that is an irregular verb that means put, put, put. The present, past, and past participle is the same. Then build. For example, look, they use like the, we built a fire, right? Como, Encendimos una fogata para ellos como construimos una fogata. Okay, porque se ponen los, quizás las, los troncos de madera, right? Se ponen, then that's why they call like built. Built a fire. Okay. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Only. Okay, now we're going to move. I think the next one is the. Uh, The section five. Yes, the next one is the section five. But in this moment, okay, what we're going to do is to uh, have a practice, right? Have a practice about the about the the past tense. Now you are going to. Uh, we're going to work in groups. We, let me see. Yes, we are going to build. We are going to construct a story, okay? We're going to construct a story using a, the past tense verb. You have to invent it, right? But you have to write uh, four or five sentences, six maximum, okay? And then you can, uh, so that you can create, um, you can create a, um, a, a little weekend story, that's something that uh, apparently happened during the weekend, right? But it's, it's not going to be true because it's something that you are going to do in that. 
Okay. Ready? Let me create a group. And here we have those other groups. Okay, here we go. Yes, that name. Yes. Hello, Claudia. Bye. Come on. Hi, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Okay, good. Ready? Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, then uh, you are joining the group, but wait, I'm going to. And hello, Anayansi. How are you? I was going to this one. Okay, Claudia, you can accept that the uh, invitation. And the other one. There you go. The Jackie went to the home. Oh, I forgot it. Is mechanic thing? Uh, no, no, no. It's well. Gabby went to the park, right? And she bought yeah. some candies to the park. Ah, huh. the park. Jackie went to the park and she bought some candies right okay and also she 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 cried because uh, the candies dropped on the floor and i don't know tell me tell me please she cried what <laughs> she cried she what cried is cried is like like this, this section, right? You should cry. Yes, I understand, but I don't know what is in past cry. Is C R E I? C R C R I E D, exactly. Okay. Because it's a regular verb. She cried. I took some pictures. Mm. 
walking on the sun. <laughs> walking on Ajá. Arena dijo, ¿verdad? Le escuché son. No, es San, dijo San. And, uh, arena. <laughs> Ajá, sí. No, teacher, tenemos la duda existencial, ¿verdad? Que si era como una historia con los verbos del pasado. Yes, that's ah, correct. Okay. Uh -huh, that's correct. como la mitad, pero hasta ahorita le preguntamos. Oh yes, yeah, you can you can invent a story by using like something that happened in the past, the week, okay. the week, one year ago, when you were okay. in the school, no problem. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. No problem with the vocabulary. No. No. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Ninety-five. I started walking and taking one dozen nine hundred ninety six. She started going to school in the year two thousand. She is studying at the university English. Solamente. Okay, no problem, no question. Just remember that everything has to be in the past, right? You can use was, you can use where, uh, that, there to be, no problem, or any other action, right? Okay. Very good. And... El Salvador on December twenty um, one hundred and nine nine. Ben Brown Vega was a Salvador poet. Poet. Bye, my mother. She no, 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 She dealt in Salvador in one hundred nice, nice, nice seven four. Um, she was the daughter of Peter Patrick. Brandon and Carmen Vega, algo así. Podríamos mm -hmm. hacerlo. Like a biography. Mm -hmm. Como una biografía. Eh, biografía sí. I mean, she's real name is Margarita del Carmen Brandon Vega. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, and then also you can use different names. Okay, good. Uh, like five more minutes, more or less, okay? Come on. Let's go. You? Okay. On my weekend, I visit, visited my mom. Uh, okay. I mom don't visit her because I work all the week. And when I arrived, there was my nephew. I have four nephews, three mm -hmm. girls and one boy. And we bought soda. We enjoy with them. And I love my nephew. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to do a conversation? Or, uh, or just one story? Yes. Okay. Story. Okay, no problem. Okay. Good. See you later, like in five minutes, more or less. Okay. Graphic design. Ah, do you, do you are design? Are you a designer? Ah, yeah. Are you a de are design a uh, web page? Uh, web page, uh, flyers, uh, logos. Um, ah, okay. And animations, illustrations. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's interesting 
your job. I like it so much. Yes, I am. Ten years ago, I I was I I was study studied uh, computer technical technical computer. Yes. Um, I don't understand the question. No, no, no. I when uh okay. Uh, ten years ago, I I studied uh, com computer technical. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, you yes. study uh, computer? Yes, technical. yes. I oh. learned. I I learned little. Uh, um, Use a uh, uh, se llama? programs uh, programs uh, uh, SQL SQL, ah, SQL. So, ah, yes that's the base. ah see sí. yes that's it's, the base. it's very mm -hmm. difficult yes, yes. it's yes. so difficult I learned I learned this in college. Uh huh. Yes. 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 But uh, but is is interesting and um and bossy in in, in the job. Yes. But okay. Mm -hmm. It's is, okay. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Okay. No, no problem. Okay. Good. We're almost ready then. Okay. Almost, almost. Okay. Are you ready? Almost? Yeah. Okay, good. So then we'll be returning. Okay. In a few minutes to the, to the main uh, screen. Okay. So I think this is the last one. Check. Yes. Okay, good. How was the experience talking about the past tense? What was more difficult, the verbs or the other vocabulary? Imagine teacher the history. Huh? Imagine the history. <laughs> okay, just to, to create, right? To invent. Yes, this is, uh, you know, the, um, that's why. I think that learning English in, in a non-speaking English country is more difficult, right? Because probably if you were in the United States, it would be easier because you, you study English in the school or in the academy, and then you have the opportunity to practice English in the street or in some places, right? But here in El Salvador, you have to imagine everything. Okay, if we want to practice vocabulary to order food in a restaurant, so we have to imagine the situation that you are the waiter or the waitress, then who is the customer. So it's, it's more difficult. Okay, but that's part of the creativity, okay, that we need to develop. Good. 
Uh, then, who wants to be the first uh, couple or trio who wants to participate? Volunteers? Un voluntario que quieran participar compartiendo su historia. Okay, narrating to the class what you created. Ah, mientras se deciden, voy a tomar una foto para la, la asistencia. Teacher. Yes. Choose a victim. Yes, I will have to pick a victim anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. Pero vean que no fue idea mía, okay? Okay, good, good. So here we go. Now I have the old names ready. Okay. Then the first victim is going to be on the thing al mouse, right? Okay, I close my eyes and then where, where the mouse is stopped, that's the first one. Where is that here in my hand? Ismael. Okay, Ismael, who was who was with you? He was born in No, but who who were you talking to? Con quien estaba practicando? Yesterday? Not today. No, no, la... me, me, me voy sí, estoy, estoy viendo. Sí, no lo vi. Yes, me now... tráfico, entonces... Bueno, ni modo, ni modo. Miren qué suerte. Eso. Si hubiera sido lotería, solo ganarse el premio hubiera llegado. Ajá, vine a cabal para que me cogiera. <laughs> ok, that was really. No, no lo vi en el grupo. Yes. The one that I saw, it was. Um... Ok, good. But then, uh, well, I will do it again. Uh, you, uh, Ismael, you were going to be the last one, okay? Telling you the story about something that happened in the past, okay? Now, okay. again, here we go again. If it is the same, where is it? Okay, here, Aida. Hola. Yes. Estaba con... Who are you with? Okay, and I, 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 I was with who? Who was with you? Natalie. Okay, tell me your story. Yes. Eh, yo te, yo escribí la historia, así que yo la contaré. Okay, go ahead. Um, she had a fabulous Saturday in the afternoon when shopping for and bow shoes and dress in a mall. And then a no sé cómo se dice at eighty chicken hamburgers and finally she returned home and got ready for the party. Got ready for the party. Okay. Eight. Eight chicken. Eight. Okay. All right, good. Now and the next one. Let's see where is my mouse? Azucena. Okay, I wrote a story. Okay. Can I read? Okay. Yes, go ahead. Okay. On my weekend, I visit my mom. And almost, uh, I don't visit her because I work all the week. And uh, when I arrived, there was my nephew. I have four nephews, three girls and one boy. We bought a soda. We enjoy it with them, and I love my nephew. Okay. How old is your nephew? How old? Mm -hmm. um, between four years old and 14. Between four? Between four years old, the small. The youngest? Yes. 
Okay. And the big one, the boy, is 14. Okay, good. Okay, good. You have good entertainment. Okay. okay. Thank yeah, you. Sure. Okay. All right. Now let's see where it's going to stop now. Okay, nobody. Okay, here we have somebody else. Haciel. Haciel Lopez. Ah, you were with Miriam. You were. I found the comment from the Okay, good. Okay, Miriam and Hatiel, you were the ones, right? What were what was your what was your topic? Uh, um okay. Uh two weekends ago I I visit my family and we I teach her. Nos reunimos. We met. We met. Uh, okay. We met we met uh because we celebrate uh bird mom birthday yes mm -hmm. and eat a barbecue eight. barbecue we had eight. a bar we had a barbecue uh-huh a eight a eight by barbecue and bag uh soda soda uh, bag, uh, bag, uh, así, yes. Uh -huh. Bag, uh, bag, uh, uh, lemon tea and, uh, natural drink too. Natural drinks. Uh -huh, yes. And, uh, it was very, uh, very interesting because, uh, had a uh, it it has a uh, more peace more peace more love uh, in my family yes okay. my mom my mom funny uh my mom uh what is the past funny teacher it was 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 was, was funny uh -huh. okay my mom was funny Okay, she was yes. telling he was telling jokes. Okay, yes. good. All right, now we have uh, two more groups, I guess. One is for um Fernando. Okay, Fernando Joaquin. What was your story? Uh well, okay. I remember that our story, well, we made a short story, a brief story, right? Okay. Uh, about Jackie. Jackie was uh was 10 years old. I, I don't know, I don't remember exactly what that. And uh, Jackie went to the amusement park, right? When her mother and uh, she bought, she bought uh, some chocolates, but the chocolates dropped on the floor, right? Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, she was crying. She was crying a lot. Well, and her mother, um, Anna, and her mother, right? Anna uh, bought about I'm sorry about I could have candy right and after that uh, Jackie went to the merry-go-round right mm -hmm. road to the merry-go-round and, and after that yeah, she was she was glad and she was happy also and they they left to them they walk they went went back home right yeah I'm sorry. Okay, very good. So you can say they went home or they went back home or they left back. Okay, yes. Excellent, very good. Good, good, good. Nice pronunciation too. Okay, uh, then uh, it and Mariela, right? Yeah. I must do say the complete history or one sentence, me, she. It's up to you, okay? <laughs> you want, you can read, you can alternate if you want. Yes, alternado, no problem. That would be good. Okay. The last weekend, we had so much fun. We went to the beach. 
and we ate seafood. After lunch, we took some pictures of the sunset. We walked in the sun. And we came back home. Okay, very good. Excellent. That was the idea, right? Using the verbs correctly. Excellent. Okay, then uh, Patricia, no, Claudia, uh -huh, Claudia, and what with you, Claudia? And Aida, right? Oh, Emma, Emma, okay. Then Claudia, what's your story? Um, I have a, este, ¿qué hija? Ve a vida un ratito. Um, I, I talk about in me. Okay. Um, I, um, uh, I about, uh, I talk about You can say I will talk about me. Okay. You can just double cloud and say I will talk about me. It's about you, right? We lost the signal. Okay. Well, when she comes back, uh, Ismael, tell me your story then. Okay, teacher. In my weekend, I visited my grandmother and we ate chicken soup and we watched a movie funny a funny movie a, a funny movie mm -hmm. <laughs> Solamente, no? okay very good no that's fine okay so that's uh what you did no problem good and evelyn elizabeth any stories that you have to share okay and the last summer, I went to the beach. In the beach, I, I swam in the pool. Okay. Later, I enjoyed the, the, the water. And I, the, excuse me, the weather was very nice. And I um, bought Coca-Cola. Okay. Then I, I it, Fish and rice. Okay. Only that. Only that. Very good. Okay. So you see, this is you know just like the, the idea, right? Uh, this is how we can. How can I tell? This is like the first draft. This would be como un primer borrador de cómo ustedes pueden iniciar una historia, right? How you can start a long story. Okay. Today you say five sentences about your weekend. Then after that you can extend the same sentences to last month, okay? What happened to me last month, okay? Then you can say February, February. Well, February was a very, uh, let's say, a very uh, hectic, okay? Bien movido, right? It was a hectic month for me, okay? I had uh, a lot of activities. I had a lot of activities at work and at home, okay? So, uh, and also I had some other activities, you know, with, uh, with friends. So then I considered that February was very hectic for me. And then you can begin describing the activities, okay? At work, I had to do many reports, prepare exams, and then uh, check the exams for my students. And then at home, I had to, uh, to celebrate three parties. You know, one was for Valentine's, there was another one for the birthday of my sister-in-law, uh, another one because we celebrated the uh, birthday of one of my best friends. I think that the best party was, you see, that you can extend, right? After that, you can do that, you know, about last year. What happened to you last year? Okay, so the, and the, the more time, the more time you take, 
the longer the story is going to be. Okay. So then that's why this is este como el primer albor, right? That you have spoken about one weekend, one day, okay, one short story, but you have to continue practicing more verbs and vocabulary in past tense, okay? The idea when you when you create, when you invent your own stories is good because uh, because you, you think in English, okay? Then you produce your own ideas. Like uh, Susana said, right? That, or yeah, Susana, oh, no. Susana told me that the it is difficult, you know, to create. The, probably the most difficult is not the verbs or the vocabulary. The most difficult part is to create the story, to think. Create the que hablamos, right? So that's the the part. Okay, but it was nice. Uh, let's see now. We have some ten minutes, and I will introduce a little bit of the unit five or lesson five. And if you see here, we continue with the past tense, right? It's not the end of the past tense. Evelyn Elizabeth, would you please read this objective here? Your, your microphone, your microphone is off. Is your microphone on? I only see you moving the mouth. By the end of, of the class, you will be able to focus in a narrative statements with the past of the originally you will practice in conversation with illustrate how this topic use is using like like seven okay good okay now uh probably i would like to i will uh, advise right that now you separate two things okay the the simple task with all the actions right with all the actions work study play uh, run write read uh, see speak smell uh, run jog uh, like love all those actions teacher sorry me sacó el, la plataforma claudia you're back <laughs> hello claudia <laughs> no podía okay. entrar it's okay, no problem. Okay, pero, pero no era yo, no le había bloqueado, no se preocupe, okay? No. Okay, okay good. Eh, ¿Está lista para decir algo? Para decir la... La history. Okay, go ya ahead. Ya no la terminé. Um, Dígala. No se quede con el nudo en la garganta. <laughs> no, uh, my history is about uh, me. Um, I... My name is Claudia. Um, I have a three brother and, and two sister. I enjoy very much with my family. Um, I like to uh, visit uh, many places. Um, only. Only. Okay, now you have to say when you were born, right? Yes. Okay, so ahora tiene que comenzar cuando nació, eh, donde vivió, right? For example, I was born in, where um, were you born? I, I born, I born in um, Awachapan City in um, October 2028. 20, okay. Um, donde vivió, I lived in? And on um, one hundred nine nine eight 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 one 
only. Okay, the place where you live, right? I lived in uh, Barrio, I don't know, Barrio. No, I live in, I live in, in, in zone, rural zone. Rural, uh, rural zone, right? Rural. rural zone, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. And then this is, for example, the idea, right? That you use the verbs. Now you can talk about your life, but in the past tense, right? I was born in Aguachapan uh, on October 28th and I live in the rural area or the rural zone, okay? And then uh, after that, you can say, I went to school, or I went to, I went to, uh, a, um, I went to I, school. Uh -huh. Yes? I studied in Barrio Alto School. And the uh, school, the the en la escuela de mi de, de mi barrio, in the school, I, I, the barrio. Okay, of my that's what it said, right? I study in the school of my city, okay, of my city, of my town. Okay, those are the ones that you can use. Okay, so think about always now in past tense. Okay, good. Only teacher. Thank you, thank you, Claudia. Okay, at least practice, at least you practice. Practice that. Good. Then, and as I was telling you now, for example, continue with the past tense. If you see, for example, when you say I was born, the verb to be is another another story, right? Was and were para ser o estar fui o era, right? Estuve, right? So these are the ones that we're going to use now. Remember, was and where? Was is for he, she, it, and where is for you, we, and they. Basically, a was is for singular, okay, and where is for plural, okay, except for one you. Hi, everyone. In this class, we learned to form positive and negative statements using the past. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how the topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. Yeah, but I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with me. Subject plus was, or where, plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. 
I was born in Korea. First, we need to add a subject comment. Then we can use the verb to be in the past. Was. Finally, complete the compliment. Born in Korea. Let's do one more example. We were born in the same year. First, we need to add a subject, we. Then we can use the verb to be in the past. Where? Finally, we will include a compliment. Born in the same year. Now, let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be. We can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be. Subject plus wasn't or wearing plus compliment. Let's analyze a couple of negative examples. I wasn't born in the U.S. First, we need to add a subject. I. Then we can use the verb to be in the past in its negative form. Wasn't. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not, but we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a compliment. Born in the U.S. Let's analyze one more example. They weren't in the U.S. in 19. First, we need to add the subject to be. Then we'll use the verb to be in the past in its negative form, where it. I would like to point out that this is the same as saying where not. But we will typically use contractions. Finally, we include a compliment. And the U.S. in 1998. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past with me about yourself, friends, and family. After okay, so basically that's the the use of the past tense. As I was telling you, you use here. I was born. Uh, this is not uh, like in past tense, right? I born. Es un verbo regular que no puede ser la forma de nací. Okay, then uh, no literally, okay? No se traduce literalmente like fui nacido, right? Was, I was born. And uh, you were pretty. If you see here, for example, there is an adjective, uh, there is a noun. Okay, here we have the, I, they were born. Also, you can use a place. They were in Korea, place. And then this is, but you can use here adjective, adverbs, places, okay, to talk about uh, the past tense of was, uh, of be, right? Am, um, is, are, using was and where. Okay, for Monday, please practice the, um, the verbs in past tense. Uh, I will send you a list of uh, irregular verbs, a short one, okay, a short one, not an extended one, but from that list, we can, you know, use a lot of verbs to practice the, let's say, talking about the past and also uh, the was and where. Okay, nice people. Because you were good this week, I will give you Friday off. Okay, you're going to have three days of vacation. I will see you on Monday, okay? Homework, dream in English, okay? All the weekend. Okay. Si van a soñar en inglés, duerman las 72 horas. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good night. Okay, bye bye. Have a good, good night. Good night, everybody. See you bye. tomorrow. Take good care. night. Bye bye.